If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 104 of my player here on Xbox One. We start with a game against Southampton at home and then in the second game we'll, uh, we'll tackle Leon at, uh, at home as well, I think, in the second leg of the semi-finals in the Europa League. So uh, two big games today. Of course, we do need to get some points in the Barclays Premier League to raise our position, which is currently fifth. Win the game in hand we have, and we will move into those Champions League spots, as you can see, and also vitally pull away from Spurs as well, who in turn have a game in hand on us. So a uh, big, big game against Southampton at Old Trafford, followed by the game against Leon. And then, of course, at the weekend, we've got two even bigger games, Arsenal in the Premier League and Spurs away, both in in the space of two days so it's games back to back to back at uh, this particular part of the season but hopefully our stamina will hold out we've been selected for this game against Southampton we'll jump in fingers crossed we can get a good result because my word do we need one <sighs> here's Janko might look for me down the line so it's good feet find Zaha Zaha to Eduardo I called for a lot through ball wanted it to come from Eduardo but it's come here to me oh off the inside the post the man's there Juricic how's he put that wide I cannot believe, with an open goal in front of him, Juricic has put that wide of the post. Michel Vorm has been absolutely let off there. That is a terrible miss. Both sides playing the same formation. They've kind of cancelled each other out so far. It's not been too much created. That's probably the first highlight of the game you've seen to this point. They are playing a 4-2-3-1 as well, with Billy Sharp being their main striker up top. Lalana sat behind him with um, uh, Eastgrove and uh, Stephen Stephen Davis, I think it is, out on the right-hand side. So uh, they've got a decent starting lineup. Schneiderlin and a Victor Wanyama holding. So it's a strong-ish team. And like I say, same formation as us in a 4-2-3-1. They've kind of cancelled each other out to this date. But that was actually a really good chance. I'm disappointed, A, that it came off the post. And then super disappointed that uh, Juricic wasn't able to, uh, to gamble on that and put it into the back of the net with an open goal in front of him. Terrible finish. Nice ball down the line. Stephen Davis brings it under control. Can he get across into the box? He can. There's a man there. Billy Sharp. Another terrible finish. On his own. Not a defender near him. Three yards either side. In front and behind. All he had to do was side for that into the back of the net. That's so inaccurate. Two clear-cut goal-scoring opportunities here so far in this game. Both should have been taken, but neither were. And apparently I'm on a 4.9 rating. And I have no idea why, to be completely honest. Luke Shaw, nice ball over the top to his grove. Now can he get it into the box? Might use the support of Luke Shaw outside him again and does so. Shaw with a cross. There's a man underneath it. Johnny Evans gets it away, but only as far as Stephen Davis. Shot deflected. Good reaction save from Anders Lindegaard there. That was very much necessary to keep them out. Otherwise, we would have been 1-0 down. Good effort and good move from Southampton. They could be in again. Lalana finds Billy Sharp. Gets the turning. Can he get the shot? He can, but it's well blocked again by Johnny Evans. Southampton proving as we head towards the end of this first half and actually into half time that they are the more superior side here at the minute. We are not playing very good football whatsoever. Only had one or two shots on target or even on goal all told ourselves. Juricic missing the uh, the clear open goal. Billy Sharp doing the same at the other end and we go in at the break. Nil-nil. Kept the ball well here. Here's Butner. Into me. I've got men all around me. We've done well to jink around them, though. Shot well blocked by Dejan Lovren out wide. Eduardo to Zaha. Perhaps going to be 1 0. Shot deflected. Oh, and the keeper comes to collect it. Well, uh, Wilfred Zaha had a lot of space there and just delayed with the shot, which let the defender get back across. That's pretty disappointing, to be completely honest. I call for a through ball here from Eduardo, and then I'll try quickly to turn inside and get the shot away for the defender comes straight down towards Vorm's left hand side, and he collects it nicely. Half an hour to go, still 0 0. I go for three ball here from Butner. We'll get it under our spell. And I'm going to have to take things into my own hands here because the team are not creating stuff. I'm going to try this finesse shot across goal. Finally, we make the breakthrough. Deadlock has been broken. It took a solo run. The rest of the team just aren't on par today. We had to take things into our own hands. And we just... Oh. I'm just relieved to have finally been able to make the breakthrough, to be completely honest, because this has been such a frustrating game to play in. Good pace to get away. I thought the defender was going to block that as he came across. We've made a change. Adnan Yenazai on for Wilfred Zaha. We just need to defend now and keep the lead and maintain this 
uh, advantage so that we can definitely get three points because we really, really need them. Although Lalana could be in behind here straight away. He's got two men hounding him and pushing him out wide. It's good defending. If we can keep that up for the rest of the game, we should be fine. Although not too much pressure on the second ball when Stephen Davis picks it up. Good challenge there, though, from the defender. 15 minutes to go. Finally, Manchester United 1, Southampton 0. It is going to end 1 0, then somehow we're able to get ourselves three points out of that game. It was one of the most frustrating and disappointing games I think we've had all series long. 104 episodes in, and that's probably one of the worst games we've played in. But we were able to come out with a win and get ourselves a goal. So, on a personal note, pleased. On a team note, satisfied, I think, but not necessarily anything more than that. And uh, Southampton really could have caused us a lot more problems than they actually did. They had some decent chances in that game. As you can see, more possession and more chances for them. Fortunately for us, though, the most crucial stat remains zero and not one like it did in our favour. So we do pick up the win, and we'll, we'll have a quick look at the league table just to see where that puts us, because, of course, the next game is the one against Leon in the Europa League, as you can see. So let's have a look at the BPL. We're up. We are up into the Champions League spots now. Spurs still with that game in hand and still only two points behind us. So they will leapfrog ourselves and Liverpool if they win that. And perhaps now Arsenal's goal difference is far superior. So uh, our position in the Champions League spots is under threat. But we can't concentrate on the BPL now because there's a semi-final second leg to play. Leon at home at Old Trafford. We are 1-0 up, I think, from the opening leg. I will just quickly check. It's 2-0 to us, in fact, from the opening leg. So we're uh, confident that, that we can get through. We just need to avoid, you know, we just need to avoid a heavy defeat, really. Two away goals and no goals for them so far. A two-goal advantage in the game. Should be a simple uh, transition through to the final of the Europa League. Hopefully it is just that. It's Fellaini. Back to me. Can I get it back round the outside to Nani? We can. Of course, their goalkeeper, Gorgonland, kept us out time and time again in that first leg. We did score two. But the team deserved a lot more than that. Can I get on the end of this? Fellaini's there. Gorsland again. Just as I mentioned him making save after save in the first league. He pops up with a cracker at the start of this one. Oh, I could have gone down there perhaps. We'll try and drill the ball across for Nani. No, the defender gets it away. Gone but only as far as Nick Powell. What can he do as he breaks into the box? Can he get a cross in? No. He gets it to me. That was a terrible cross. But it's as far as Nani. But the shot is terrible. Oh, it's been all Man United in the opening five minutes. As uh, the Leon player's arm clips through Nani's chest. Gorsland with a great first save there. Nani perhaps could have even played that cross to the awaiting Shinji Kagura at the back post. It looks like, well, from these opening couple of highlights, it's going to be our day today. It's in the rain. Of course, Leon are uh, still a decent side. And they've got some threat up top with uh, Benzia and uh, Alexander Lacazette and Grenier, etc. So... They're not going to be easy to beat, but we don't need to beat them today, crucially. We only need a draw, so hopefully it shouldn't be as difficult as it perhaps could be. I'll have to wait and see. Here's Maxime Gonlons. Gets shrugged off it by Nick Powell, though. The uh, the result in the other first leg was AC Milan 2, Tottenham 1. So if Tottenham can turn that round, we look, may have an all-English Europa League final. If they can't, it looks like we'll be facing... Uh, We'll be facing the Italian giants AC Milan in the final, wherever that may be held. But we started off on the front foot here, and uh, I want us to keep that going. Kagawa into Powell, forward to the on-rushing Alexander Butner. Turns inside well, and the defence stepped there, which caught me out. But here's Fellaini. He's got two men outside of him, but he doesn't need us. Marouane Fellaini going all the way with a shot straight at Gorgelan. Perhaps should have let him uh, pass the ball off rather than telling him to have the shot there, but... Still us on the front foot. Leon haven't really created anything so far. It's been comfortable to this point, And like I say, we only need a draw. We can even afford to lose by a singular goal. So the pressure is off us right now. The pressure is heaped on Leon. So they haven't been coping with it to this point very well at all. But here's Fellaini again coming forward. Can we create something? Just want to get out of the way, really, because I, I didn't have as much space there. Here's Phil Jones. I'll try Ronaldo chop when I get tackled by Gonlons, but goes only as far as Phil Jones again. I'm back on my feet. Phil Jones plays it back to Varela. Varela will use me. Now, can I get away from the man? I can. We'll try the shot. Oh, blocked by whoever that defender was and Nanny, a mixture of the two of them. Now, do I get greedy here? I'm going to. Shot with the left foot. Finesse blocked. Shot with the right foot. Gorzalan saves. Prick, this goalkeeper, seriously, man, he's too good. We've picked up the corner. There's only two men in the box for some reason. Nanny whips it in. It's going Fellaini's way. He has the header straight down the goalkeeper's throat. 15 minutes to go in the first half. Still nil-nil. His worries for Leon. 
Rasmus Selm plays it out wide to Domenico Crescito. Obviously, the Italian left backs moved from uh, Zenit in Russia to Lyon in the uh, four seasons that this save's been going. Gonlon's breaking through, looks for Maurice. That was a good attempted through ball there. Unlucky that that didn't come off. We might catch more of the counter attack here, though, if we can play the right passes at the right time. We've played in Nanny. Now I'm going to cut inside, perhaps. He's been tugged there, Nanny. Is he going to cut the ball back? He has. Oh, the man with the overhead kick. Oh, Gorgelan, go home. This is ridiculous. How does he keep doing this time and time again? Header straight to the goalkeeper. This guy. I uh, I footheaded him. He's bronze to start off with when in FIFA 14. He must have some crazy growth because he is a world-class goalkeeper right now in this fourth season for Leon. Absolutely insane. Yenzin Benzia could be through here. We can get a turn in. The goalkeeper in both games has pulled out top saves. Left right and centre and he's doing the same again in this second leg Gorgelan man honestly six saves already as you can see coming up towards half time still nil nil it's Rasmus Elm plays the ball to you see Benzia gets the turn in and the cross there's a man at the back post good save down low by David De Gea seeing his uh, his counterpart the other end make save after save and this time oh, it was actually going wide I think it was going to hit the post and go wide but he didn't know that had to be saved and he did so in style Leon trying to force the issue in the first half of the first few minutes of this second half De Gea though clutches at uh, the ball as it pops free from that corner this is headed towards me if I can knock this down which I have done and then call for a through ball from Nick Powell just need to get around the defender which I cannot do Zafane or Zafane holds me off well Leon maintain possession five minutes into the second half could have been 1-0 to Leon there if it weren't for uh, the heroics of our own goalkeeper this time Varela finds Nani now what can the Portuguese winger do here can he get the ball in that's what we need he has Oh, we'll try the volley. Oh, he's hit the bar. That was a fantastic volley on the rebound. Gorslan again. Stop it. This goalkeeper, man. Seriously, that was wonderful technique from us on that initial shot that comes back down off the bar. And then the goalkeeper again with two fantastic reaction saves. I just... It beggars belief how many times this man has kept his team in it. If they eventually get through, it will be the goalkeeping performance or two goalkeeping performances in footballing history, this goalkeeper is incredible. His worries, not the strongest, but he does have a lot of pace. Seems to be the way with their front line. Yasin Benzia, again, isn't the strongest, but does have pace. And good feet to turn inside. Wonderful tackle from Nicholas Nkulu. And then Waris misses an open goal. That's three times this episode. Players have missed clear-cut just 99% of the time would score chances as we bring on Adnan Yanazai for Nani. Wow, that could have changed the game. 67 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. It's a nice ball by Mavuba, but we've been able to get it clear. We have managed to keep possession as well. Yanazai has got Powell running in front of him and me. I'll call for the through ball. It's well played. It is going to find me. Now, can I get the finish across the goalkeeper to put the tie to bed? Gorgelan again with a great save. You cannot underestimate how good this goalkeeper has been over the course of the two ties. I think the first game will have like two highlights and then there's going to be like 17 minutes of this Gorgeland guy making save after save. <laughs> Didn't have to make one there as that one goes sneakily wide of the post. All I seem to do whenever we have played Leon so far this season in those two these two games is just rant and rave about how good Gorgeland is. Another wonderful save to keep his team in it. Chris Smalling, time really running out for Leon now. They need two goals in stoppage time to get themselves through. It hasn't said how many minutes of stoppage time we're going to have yet in this game. I'm not sure it's actually going to tell me. But we are in stoppage time. This has been one of the most entertaining nil-nil draws I have ever seen or been a part of. Absolutely incredible game. So many chances for us. And again, the goalkeeper came up top trumps for Leon. Kept them in it. It's just a shame the outfield players couldn't help him out. He deserves a winner's medal all of his own, Gorgelan. He does not deserve to go out, but the overall team performance from Leon wasn't good enough, and it is ourselves that push through to the final of the Europa League. Question is, who are we going to face? The first leg was Milan 2, Tottenham 1. Don't know what the result from the second leg was, or whether even that 2-0, or 2-1 rather, result that it showed at the beginning of the game was the, uh, the final result. We'll have a look here. I had nine shots 
in total. Look at, again, we had 16 shots, 9 on target. Somehow that's ended as a 0 0 draw. Spurs and Milan ended 1 1, so it's going to be AC Milan versus Manchester United in the Europa League final. That will come as a singular live com at the end of the season, of course, as we always do with cup finals. But that's going to bring this video to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave the video a like if you enjoyed. That would be absolutely superb. We've got two massive games coming at the weekend. Saturday's episode will be huge. Arsenal and Tottenham to, uh, to come on uh, on Saturday afternoon. And as you can see, we are still just about in the Champions League position. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.